boy, you're something else, Ezra. Okay, Thanks. so uh, you, uh, the story is you were three years old and the doctors had to amputate your leg. Tell yeah. us your story. So I was born with one finger on my left hand uh -huh. and a leg that was curved. They removed the part that was curved, they took the big toe and they put it on my left hand, so now I have two fingers and a stump that they can put a prosthetic leg on. Right, so and it has not slowed you down a bit, has it? No. No, so you, and you love sports. I love sports. And you, I mean, in this kid, it, it's amazing what you have done. You've done so many, I mean, what are all the sports you play? Um, I play basketball, we're starting basketball season, I play soccer, S soccer season is next. Um, this is actually my football jersey that we just ended. Uh, I was the QB. Uh, Does that mean quarterback? Yeah. Skateboarding. You're a quarterback. Wow. And then the, and then the one that uh, I love the most is probably track and field. I set seven national records at the national championship. Wow. Thanks. So you you were actually one of the sports kids of the of the year, right? Of Sports yeah. Illustrated, right here. Look at this. So now, when did you? Uh, I mean, some kids love sports, but you're really good at all sports. So when did you realize that you were good at everything? I've always loved it since I was a baby. I've always loved being very active, having fun, playing with my friends, but when I play sports, I feel at home. I don't feel different. I feel like I'm just one of the guys. Yep, yeah, well, and you are, but you're better than that. You're better than a lot of the guys. So, and you have a coach that gave you a really great motto. What is that motto? Uh, it was finish well. I was a little kindergartner playing basketball and I missed a couple of shots and then I missed all my shots and I got upset and I ran away. And my P coach, Coach Chow, was watching me and he came up and he said, hey buddy, you might have missed all your shots, but you're gonna go out there and make another shot no matter what and you're gonna finish well. And a little kindergartner, I don't know what that meant. I just was go gonna go home and say, oh, who am I gonna tell this to? But uh, as I got older, like doing in my, a race, maybe I slip and fall at the beginning, I get up and I go, okay, finish well, finish well. And it just, you drive harder and harder and harder and then eventually you get to the finish line. Good for that coach and good for you for taking that in. And those are the things, if everything was easy, then it's not fun. You want challenges. You want things to, to you yeah. know, to overcome because it makes you feel better about yourself, uh -huh. doesn't it? And what do you, if, if kids are watching and they feel different, if there's something about them, what's your message to them? I'll say everyone's different. Whether you look different, you think different, or you act different. Mine happens to be I look different and it's very obvious, but that doesn't mean that a kid with four limbs uh, doesn't have any challenges. Everybody has challenges and everybody stares at everybody. So you just gotta know that being different is okay and that you can dream it and you can hope it or you can make it happen. And I hope that they make it happen. I mean, Thank such you. an amazing inspiration, and Thanks. you're adorable to boot. Thank you're you. just good looking. I mean, Thank you. yeah. Um, so, your ultimate goal is, is what do you want to do with your life? Um, I probably want to go to the Paralympics someday, hopefully, the Olympics. Um, well, I'm a kid, I'm nine years old. I have like 20 more years to think yeah. about it. But... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, you should for sure. I want to be an athlete. You want to be an athlete, and you will. You are an athlete, but you also should be a motivational speaker because Thank you really you. should go and talk to kids. Yeah, I do. Good. You do. That's good. He does. Already. All right. So I wanted to give you a gift because you love basketball, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we heard about that, and uh, we got something for you. You're a Lakers fan, so I'm going to give you this. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Because you're a Lakers fan, you get all this wonderful Lakers uh, paraphernalia there. And also, Sport Court heard about what an incredible athlete you are. And they want to give you the best high performance safety surface available for your backyard and an adjustable hoop system to practice like a champion. And you're going to get that set up in your backyard. <laughs> 